Hello friends, how is it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all of the Halloween and spooky eyeshadow palettes that I own in my collection. I definitely do not own every Halloween themed palette that has come out, but I have quite a a few and I want to share them with you. I've done this video the last couple years and I love just watching this collection grow and grow year after year. I love Halloween themed makeup. I love spooky concepts. I love how many different directions you can kind of go with like a creative Halloween-y kind of color story and I'm really excited to share with you all of the ones that I have here today. I don't even know how many I have. I didn't count. Probably somewhere between 25 to 30. I have quite a few to share with you and I'm really excited about it. I also did recently do a full like autumn makeup favorites video where I didn't include any of these palettes because I knew I would be doing a separate spooky palette video. Um, so if you want to just see my in general like autumnal grungy themed pics, go check that video out as well. Before we get into it, I did of course film this look. It should already be up on my channel by the time this video goes up. It's part of my two looks video with Angie's new collab with Odin's Eye, the Halloween collection. And as far as my accessories today go, um, these earrings, unfortunately, I don't know where they're from because they were a gift a long time ago. Um, um, and this hat is also very old. I don't know exactly where this one's from, possibly just Amazon or something. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's hop in and chat about my spooky Halloween eyeshadow palette collection. We're going in no particular order. I just have them all stacked precariously next to me. Um, so we're just gonna dive in. First being the Sugar Pill Black Capsule Palette. I think this launched back in like 2020. This was like so long ago. Like that feels like such a, a blur. Um, but this is the spooky... Halloween-y kind of version of their capsule collection. I kind of wish they never stopped doing those capsule palettes. They did four of them and then just kind of quit. And I kind of wish they'd kept going with it because I really liked the themes they were coming out with. But the themes are all like on the shades. We have things like Coven, Superstitious, Hex, Purgatory, Oogie, Grim, like all the fun little spooky themed names. So I feel like this is a perfect spooky palette. I don't know if this one's available anymore. Can't guarantee all of these that I'm gonna talk about today are still available. I'll link everything that I can down below. Um, but maybe this will just be some inspo to pull it out of your collection if you've had this kicking around for a while. By the way, I've also done videos and looks with every single one of these palettes, sometimes multiple videos and multiple looks. You can just search my various platforms here, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Um, I will try to reuse these as much as I can, but I'm only one human human being and I also have many other things to play with in my filming journey here for the season so I'll do what I can to replay with some of these over time but just keep in mind I've already played with all of these and there's inspo out there if you need it. Gourmet Girls and Doodles by The Bunny have done two wonderful spooky themed palettes over the last two years. Um, last year's was the Spooked palette such a beautiful fun Halloween palette I love this so much I Love the colors, I love the shimmers, I love the theme, the names, it's just all doing good things. I love that spider web background, it is just so pretty. And then recently, I think last month actually, they came out with the Nightshade palette, which is just gorgeous. And maybe, arguably, this isn't a Halloween-y palette, but for me it is, because like the Deadly Nightshade and Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's kind of like a spooky, poisonous, kind of situation. And I just felt like it fit the vibes really well. I love the purples in here. They are so good. These two palettes are just absolutely fantastic. Next up, Bella Beauty Bar has done two spooky palettes over the last two years. Um, first being Strange and Unusual. This came out last year. It's so pretty. This is one of the first palettes I ever tried from them and I fell in love with their shimmer formula. It's just so good. And these colors are everything. I love a Beetlejuice theme and I just love these colors. They're so good. And then recently they launched the Basic Witch palette, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I do feel like if you um, are sad that you missed out on the first Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette, this is kind of similar vibes but almost like stepped up a notch because I mean these shimmers are incredible and honestly the matte game has gotten stepped up since this one really really nicely as well. I'm very impressed with this. I love this palette. Hello alternate universe Betty Jean popping in. I actually had pre-filmed this video that you're currently watching before my Disney trip last week and since that happened I have accumulated not one but two spooky palettes. So I figured I would just pop in really quick since this video wasn't live yet to chat about those and just feature these. Um, another gourmet girl spooky palette palette with doodles by the bunny. I'm so thrilled. This wasn't even teased yet when I filmed this video. Uh, so yeah, this exists now. I love it. I already have a video on my channel. It's so cute. It's definitely a really good complement to the nightshade and the spooked palette. 
such a fun addition. And also, Bella Beauty Bar just launched a new palette as well. I'm wearing it right now. The video is already on my channel as well. This is the Recently De-Influenced. It's kind of like a, a fun take on like a spooky influencer-esque palette. We have lots of fun vampy shades. The shade names are so funny as well. Like we have like Energy Vampire and Digital Zombie, Backlash, and like just funny names with like creepy, spooky writing. I think this is a fun one as well. So I just wanted to pop on really quick and also mention these since uh, they have come into my collection since filming that video. So back to the regularly scheduled programming. Next up, this is the Salem and the Witch palette from Salem Cosmetics. Very much a witchy vibe. I feel like it fits the spooky aesthetic really well. We have some beautiful shades in here. This is actually a revamped version of one that she came out with. I think last year she like replaced some of the shimmers with like really special shifty, even some holographic shimmers. This is a really, really fun palette. I think the mattes are gorgeous. And I think this color story is just so fun. Very like enchanting, mystical. It's so cute. Next up from Glam Light, this is the Chucky Crazy in Love palette. This came out during like Valentine's Day actually. And I thought it was such a fun kind of like grungy, spooky, romantic date night kind of palette. Um, I think this is super cute, very dark, dramatic, cool tone, just so grungy and I absolutely love it. I know they've been teasing their screen collection at the moment that I'm filming this that hasn't been revealed yet. Um, at the moment, I also don't know if I plan on purchasing that one because I haven't seen it yet. So just keep in mind if that's been revealed by the time this video goes up at the moment that I'm filming this, I just am not aware of, of what it looks like yet. But I do own this one and I think it's super, super fun. Next up, I felt like this fit the spooky vibe. So this is the Black Moon Cosmetics Urban Myth Palette. It looks like this. It's kind of based on like cryptozoology and urban legends and stuff like that. We have shades like Boogeyman, Bermuda Triangle, Bloody Mary, Crop Circles, Mothman, Chupacabra, like so many fun, like mythical things. And I just felt like this was a fun one to include. I still think this is a really cool color story. I haven't played with this one in a hot minute, but I really, really enjoyed it when it came out. I think the shimmers are cool. I really like this weird murky yellowy beige. I think that's a really interesting shade. I don't really have things like that in my collection. I think this one's cute. Next up, Lunar Beauty has done two versions of the Moonspell palette. I'm holding out hope for a Moonspell volume three. I would love to see this series continue every couple years or so. I think that would be so fun. Um, but this is the first one, the Moonspell. This one doesn't exist anymore. And unfortunately, I've, I've completely destroyed my proof shade. It has since shattered almost completely. But this is so pretty. I love just these grungy vibes. I love the purples with the murky greeny teals. It is so stinking cute. And I will keep these forever, mostly just because of like packaging, because this is just a full on decoration for me. It's so pretty. And then this is the volume two. I think this came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was two years ago. I have no concept of time. I have two brain cells, um, but it looks like this. Very like magical potion-esque for me. Very much like that pink, purple, red kind of color story. I think the shimmers in here are so cool. And I just love these brilliant like reds and purples together. I think it's so like just enchanting. It's so pretty. And again, I would just love to see a third one. Please and thank you. Next, I have three from Creature Cosmetics that they sent me, I think earlier this year. Um, I'll be honest, the formulas on the inside aren't my absolute favorite, but the themes are really fun. So I figured I would still share it in this video. Um, but this is the Reanimator palette. It looks like this. Very much that punchy blue, purple, green. I really like the colors in here. Um, the shimmers don't really do a whole lot for me and I don't love that there's a pressed glitter, but I do love the colors themselves. I think this is a gorgeous color story. Next is Sleepaway Camp. This one is very much just like a rainbow color story. Honestly, the color story does not fit the vibe in my opinion, but it's still a, a spooky theme, so that's why we're chatting about it. And then this is actually my favorite of the three. This is the Trick or Treat palette. I love Trick or Treat. It's one of my favorite like Halloween-y horror movies of all time. I think it's so good. This one opens more like this, kind of awkward, but <laughs> it looks like that. We have just kind of those classic Halloween-y colors. Um, I feel like the formula in this palette is better than the previous two. This one's pretty fun. Next up, my friend Teresa is Dead has collabed two times with Lethal Cosmetics. We have the Lethal is Dead and Teresa is Lethal. Lethal is Dead came out first, like two years ago. 
This one is so stinking cute. I love these colors together. And just the shade name themes are perfect. We have the Final Girl, Watery Grave, Predator, Creature Feature. This is just so, so fun. And I love Lethal. I love Teresa. This is just like a match made in heaven. And we have Teresa is Lethal. This one came out, I think, last year. I love this color story. It just gives me like retro vibes it's so cool and i love the like shade names in here as well we have like pew pew and space duster and space trash and plutonian like very like spooky alien vibes it is so stinking cute i just i adore this so much next up i have done two collabs with shroud two spooky halloweeny collabs the it's freaking bats and halloween it's freaking bats uh, we launched back in 2020 and both of these are still available and they plan to stay available as long as there's still a demand. As of right now, I think this one's out of stock currently, um, but things will just continue to restock over time. Um, but this is It's freaking Bats, my heart and soul, my everything. I am still so obsessed with this color story. I love these colors together, just these murky tones. Trappa, one of my favorite shades in my entire collection. I cannot get enough. I absolutely adore this. And we have Halloween that launched last year. My perfect grungified little Halloween palette. I think it's so cute. I love these shades so much. I love pairing these together. It is just absolutely everything for me and uh, I'm just obsessed. Next up, the only spooky ColourPop palette that I currently own is actually the Nightmare Before Christmas palette. Looks like this. I know this one got a lot of like, I don't know, people criticizing it for the color story. Like they didn't feel like it screamed Nightmare Before Christmas. And while I do agree with that sentiment, I don't look at this color story and think, ah, Nightmare Before Christmas. I do just love it. It reminds me of like my scene kid days. I love that bright, hot pink with the bright screaming orange and the dark grungified, like murky, like cool tone shades and the black and that purple. It's just such a cool color story and I really like it for what it is. Next up, we have the recent collaboration between Odin's Eye and Angie. This is from the Halloween collection, kind of a Halloween sequel to her original Hella palette. And I am having so much fun with these so far. Um, that's what this look is from, is from this palette specifically, the Trick or Treat palette. It is so cute. I love these tones. I love the murkiness. I love how there's a good combination of brights and grunge. It is such a fun color story. And we have the little ghost palette. The packaging on these is just so cool. This is the little ghost. Very colorful, very loud. It's giving me just like enchanting, magical. It is so freaking cute. Unearthly Cosmetics and Sydney Nicole Adams came out with the Hauntingly Glamorous palette a couple years ago, actually. Um, but it looks like this. It's so cute, so freaking fun. I just love the combination of like the reds with the purples. I like how there's deeps and pastels. This is so, so, so pretty. And we have two really pretty kind of iridescent shimmers to kind of go with anything. This is a really fun one. Nomad has launched two spooky palettes over the last two years as well with the really cool like I always forget the name, lenticular. Isn't that the name for like when it, when it shifts? It's something like that. Um, but last year was the Haunted Europe palette. It looks like this, it's so freaking gorgeous. I always break this up in my mind. Like this is my spooky graveyard. This is my little pumpkin patch. And I just think this is such a cute color story. It's so fun. And then this year they came out with the Ghost Town USA, very much like a grungy, dingy, kind of vibe very like dusty muted shades and i think it's so pretty i love like the dusty blues with the weird greens this is a really cool color story and i think these complement each other really well i actually did a palette bingo on my channel earlier this month where i paired those two palettes with their fall palette they launched last year and did kind of a a spooky fall palette bingo situation. Next up, a few years ago, Melt Cosmetics launched their Beetlejuice collab, which at the time I didn't pick it up just because at the time I did not have the money to spend on this collection as much as I wanted it because I love Melt and I love Beetlejuice. Wasn't able to, but I had a friend that gifted me hers like two years ago and I will cherish these forever. First is the Recently Deceased. This is just our classic Beetlejuice colors. I love with the the chartreusey greens and the purples. It's just so pretty. And we have the waiting room palette. I have to be careful because I unfortunately dropped this recently. So it's a, it's a little crumbly, but I, I smushed it down decently. Um, but this is just kind of like pinks, reds, grays, very like dramatic vampire kind of vibes. It's super fun. And finally, last but not least, I have a couple from Give Me Glow as well. They launched the Haunted Pumpkin last year looks like this very like, I don't know, like 
grungy pumpkin patch. I like the different shades of orange. We have some cool toned browns. I really like these weird dingy greens. It's hard to even describe that shade, but I think this is a really cool color story. And the year before, I think back in 2021, they came out with the Bad Witch Club palette. I love this. I think this is my favorite palette that the brand has ever done. I did accidentally break this shade at one point, <laughs> um, but it looks like this. It's so pretty. I love these colors. I love the very like rich, like violety periwinkles with that really pretty bright coral, these greens, all the purples. This is such a cool color story and I love it dearly. And yeah, that is my collection of spooky and Halloween themed palettes. I hope I didn't forget anything. I scoured my palette shelf many times to make sure I didn't forget something. But if I forgot something, whoops. <laughs> I would love to know what palettes you own in your collection that have kind of a spooky Halloween aesthetic. Are there any that have come out recently that you have your eye on? I would love to know. If you made it to the end of this video, leave some Halloween themed emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything. Instagram, TikTok, you know the drill. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. Also, feel free to join my channel membership. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.